But now I'm going to turn my attention to some other news. And this is found in my book in a new chapter, chapter 18, The Plague of Diseases on Bees, in relation to Revelation 6.6. 6. Let me tie this in for you. And this is what the Lord said, And I heard the voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. So what we can take from Revelation 6.6 6 is a person will have to work all day long for one small meal. Now, in the scriptures, when you do a study, you'll find out that working all day long for a measure of wheat is like getting a quart of wheat. Now, that's for one person, one meal a day. So you're going to be missing two other meals, and if you have a family, only one person in that family is going to be able to eat if you work all day long. So we can see that something has happened to the food chain during the tribulation period, and I have a good glimpse at one of the things that will be causing the rise in prices in the last days during the tribulation. Let me show you. And you can get this information in my book today, by the way. Now, here's an article that came out April the 8th of 2014 with the title, Bees in Northern Europe are dying faster than they should be and threatening billions in crops. Now, this is one of many, many pages in my book that shows you the bee population is disappearing, mass bee deaths. And as a result of the mass bee population declining, the food that would be pollinated by the bees is also declining, which we know that if it keeps happening the way it is, and it's getting worse every year, then it's going to affect, without a doubt, the crops. And if the crops are affected, and the bees do not pollinate the trees, the bushes, the shrubs, the flowers, then there's going to be a chain reaction because the animals who eat the trees, the flowers, the bushes, and the fruits from the trees, that those animals will too decline. And we see this happening. So let's take a look here at one of the articles. And it says this, this is what the grocery store will look like without bees. Now I want you to take a look at the picture here. Just get a mental picture of all the produce in the grocery store. And you can see on the left hand side, your produce choices with bees. Now here's that little critter. Now keep this image also in mind, empty due to no pollination. I'm gonna show you what the grocery store looks like without the bee pollination. And you see a lot of it is gone. Now in relation to the bee population dying off, one of the famous people had something to say about this. That was Albert Einstein. Look what he said. If the bee disappeared off the surface of the globe, then man would only have four years of life left. No more bees, no more pollination, no more plants, no more animals, no more man. And so when you take a look at what Einstein was showing us, and when you take a look at in the book of Revelation where we see millions and millions and millions of people around the world will be dying of starvation, then you begin to get a clear picture of the birth pangs of the last days, and I believe that the birds, the fish, and the animals that are dying, as well as the mass bee population declining, is going to head us right in to Revelation 6.6 6 and fulfill that prophecy during the tribulation. Something to think about when you watch more news about the bees dying off in the near future.